We're sitting here down in Florida. Nice, beautiful weather. The horses are out and about. Uh, just have a moment to talk here. Uh, people have been asking about um, how, do, how did I uh, do a central back? Because uh, some of the comments and questions that we've had, um, people have told us, you know about central back in in a large unit like this uh or even in your horse trailer uh some of the horse campers that have horse trailers and stuff as well uh it's very simple the the one that we tried to uh get it was about two to three thousand dollars and i wasn't about to spend two or three thousand dollars on a vacuum <laughs> i mean that's expensive so I came, uh, came up with my own idea and uh, I mentioned, my wife mentioned to some of the people that I would make this video. Uh, let's go for a walk and I'll show you. I'll show you what we have as a central vac system. Now I did this myself and a central vac, like I said, would be about two to three thousand dollars and I can show you how you do it under 50 bucks. Well, 50 bucks Canadian. So, here I'll show you. I'm gonna open this compartment. This is my central vac. Now, the vacuum's here. The hoses are all in there, and I'll show you the installation video after this. But this is, and then this is your exhaust hose. So, basically, uh, if it does fill up, you know how some shop bags blow a little bit of dust and I didn't want my compartments to get dusty. So this here runs down and basically comes out here with a screen over top to prevent it from uh, blowing dust inside the RV. Um, the plug-in, I mounted a plug up here and then turn around and use that for my shop bag. So you can unplug it here. To uh, change it, to change the, uh, if I can get this to stay up. To change it, all I have to do is clip here, change it, you just clip there, clip there. This here lifts up, just like so. And then I can take that out and dump it. And then, Put it back lock it in and there you go and all it is is a little shot back okay we're back here again with the shot back the system that i was talking about i've disconnected the wires off of here um i've zip tied them all on the hose here and uh, we'll take this with us there goes the box. Okay, so we got the shot back, got the hose all wired up, and then uh, I've got uh, in the compartment here. Okay, sorry, the slide edge out as well. Um, what we've done is we got the uh, hose and everything already cut out. Um, I'll show you that here in a second. Okay, so anyways, took this panel out. The panel was right here for the water heater. Okay, we got a hole drilled out up here from upstairs. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if the hose will feed itself up so I'm gonna shut this right here somehow hopefully you can see right where the hole is okay and then what we're gonna do is set this shot back in and we're gonna feed this hose right up here
That's kind of a, I mean, each to your own, but this thing works completely awesome. Um, here, I'll grab a, a handful of this stuff. I got a little bit of dirt here. I'll show you how well it works. There you go inside. This is our, our system. A little bit of dirt there, just like so. And then when your feet, your feet lift it up, it's done. And it starts to rig in. Just to show you what it, just to show you what it sounds like outside. Show you what it sounds like on the outside. That pretty much is about all you hear outside. Very quiet, very good. Doesn't bother a whole lot of people. It only takes a few minutes to sweep up your unit and sweep it into that 